everybody. Welcome back to a Champions Week on House of Games. Four former winners are battling it out. Only one can survive to take home this plated trophy right here. Who is it going to be? It'll be one of these four former champs. Alex Brooker. <laughs> Izzy Sooty. Ail Smith Bino. And Kay Adams. Welcome back. You all came back. I worry sometimes that people won't. You never know, do you? You never know. Kyle, I knew you'd come back because you won yesterday. Yeah, I was um, showing off my gold bottle all, all yesterday. Oh, evening. really? Did, yeah. Went down well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. loved it, yeah. Oh, God, everyone, everyone thought you were cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone. I they wondered cool, if I'd Kyle. done my hair to match the bottle. Yeah, yeah. of course yeah. you did. But it was close, right? It was mm. close. Mm. There was some good quizzing going on. Izzy, feels like everyone's going to win one this week, do you reckon? Yes. In fact, I think I'm going to win the rest. No way. You're going to yeah. win the next four. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can switch off. We are, I mean, <laughs> spoiler, Izzy's turned up with a game face I've on. just got a feeling. Yeah, just a little something. Yeah. Kay, we'll take a look at the weekly leaderboards. Contractually, I have to, even though it makes little sense after the first day, but uh, Kyle is at the top of it. But second place for you, it was pretty close right to the end, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was. No, I, I'm, I'm more than happy with that. You know, you do this and you just hope, I hope I don't make a complete fool of myself. So um, I, I was more than happy with that performance. Well, listen, it's only Tuesday. Uh, week yeah, is... I could, plenty of time to make a complete <laughs> fool of Exa myself. Exactly right. Yeah. Alex, should we take a look at the, uh, the prizes today? Yes, please. There's still gold. Oof. That's the good news. <laughs> we have got, goodness me, we have got the golden goblets of doom. We have got the golden bathroom accessories. We have got golden watch, golden dog bowls, and golden fondue set. What are we thinking? The goblets do have an ancient curse <laughs> on them, but they look nice. I don't mind. I want those golden yeah. goblets. Golden goblets. Yeah. All I've got in, <laughs> all I've got in my bar at home at the moment is uh, orange cups I've nicked from Ocean Beach. Wow. So I need to. So you need some. <laughs> need to need some class. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Brooker's golden goblet. And like, as the years go by, as people come up, there's just little bits get chipped off them. And they get so, <laughs> it's only a bit less gold as you go along. The golden goblets. Uh, Izzy? I think I'd go for the dog bowls. Yeah. We don't have a dog. Okay. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> we're thinking of getting a cat. I don't ah. see any reason why a cat can't eat and drink from a dog bowl. So. Hey, listen, it's a new age, right? Why, <laughs> you know, why be so binary? You know? <laughs> Cats eating from dog bowls, dogs eating from cat bowls. That's how we live now, right? Yeah. Lovely golden dog slash cat bowls. Kyle, what would you go for? I'm interested in the <laughs> goblets, actually, but yes. I want to know what sound they make when they cheers. Mm. They Can I find make... out first? That's a very good question, actually. Yes. I'll say that if you win today, we will bring them on. Mm -hmm. You can ding them together and yeah. see, if, see if they're acceptable right. for you. I will say this. Mm -hmm. That, that is how the curse comes into life. So if you do right. ding them, even if you don't take them home, the curse will still follow you. <laughs> That's a, but I'll take listen, that. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. Listen, because you want to, you want to hear the ding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kay, what would you go for? It's got to be the fondue. Has got to be the fondue. Gotta Golden the fondue. fondue. There's yeah. quite a few people who've won the fondue set on this show. Very, very, very few people have won the golden fondue. That's quite right. something, the golden fondue. Yeah. Shall we get on? I played Tuesday's House of Games, a win for Kyle yesterday, but very, very close. It's going to be close all week, I think. Our first round looks like this. <laughs> Answers in the question. Alex Brooker, we will start with you. I'm looking for the name of a reality TV star. I will give you a clue. Within the clue, there will also be some capital letters, which is an anagram of the answer. OK. So you'll have two opportunities, really, to get it, but uh, the answer is in there. Although she's the daughter of that heavy metal bloke, surely no one can deny that this singer has carved out a career of her own. Kelly Osbourne. Is it Kelly Osbourne? And a grammar bloke surely know, and it absolutely is Kelly Osbourne. Well done. Izzy, one for you. The family of this socialite turned entrepreneur are so fashion conscious that if she turned up in car keys, drama would doubtless ensue. Um. Oh, this is going to be a situation where everyone's going, this is what it is. Um, well, so two so, so, certainly, it? Kyle has his finger on the... Oh, as does Kay. As does <laughs> that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know we could buzz in. I, thought, I didn't want to put my hand over like, and intimidate you. OK, fashion conscious. Hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. Reality TV star. Reality TV star. I don't watch that much reality TV, but I'm, I must know who this person is, right? You would have, oh, yeah, you would have heard bum. of her. Big bum. 
big Hello. bomb, Kim Kardashian. Is it Kim Kardashian? It is Kim Kardashian. Very well done. I love you, Kay. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> everyone else was upset because they all had their fingers on the buzzers. Kyle, I have a reality TV star for you. Okay. But which one? This Strictly finalist probably went a mile in a jag along the King's Road during his maiden Chelsea days. Um. Oh, man. Big bum. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's a different clue. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Jamie Lang. Yeah. Jamie Lang? Yes. It is. Well done. <laughs> Nicely played. Jamie Lang is the answer. And, Kate, I have a reality TV star for you with three from three so far. <gasps> Pressure. Surely this ex Towie star would never introduce herself by saying, I'm Miss Collagen. I'm pretty sure it's Gemma Collins, but just let me work out the... Have we got... Yeah, Gemma Collins? Yeah, it is Gemma yeah. Collins, absolutely. <laughs> if you were working out for about seven minutes, I would have intervened. Yes. But uh, <laughs> it was absolutely Gemma Collins. Four from four. Alex, we go back to you. Ooh. Our next category is... Art, oh, styles God. and movements. What? Finally, your speciality. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was going to be more reality stars. Which answer? Don't <laughs> pretend you're only lowbrow. <laughs> I know stuff. I've, I've, heard, I've heard you've got uh, golden goblets at your bar. <laughs> you're a classy guy. Which art, style or movement is this, please, Alex? 1930s New Yorkers raced to book an office space in the Chrysler building, a skyscraper in this style. Oh, you don't oh, I didn't have to buzz. Huh? I buzzed myself. Is it Art Deco? Art Deco. Well played, Alex. It is Art Deco. <laughs> Nicely done. See, when you believe in yourself, Ooh. see what you can do. Yeah, <laughs> I even buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy, Izzy, an art style of movement for you. Despite the prim emissions of conservative art critics, work in this style by artists such as Monet and Renoir have become highly prized. Um, impressionism. Impressionism? Very nicely done. Oh, I said Renoir in such a kind of um, annoying people pronouncing French names like they're, like they're French. <laughs> I apologise. <laughs> I meant Renoir. <laughs> Monet and Renoir. Kyle, an art oh. style of movement for you. Oh dear. Oh dear. When people are confronted with work in this style, like basketballs in a glass box, most respond, I'm confused. Postmodernism. Oh, he's got it right. Well done. <laughs> nice to play. Postmodernism. Uh, and Kay, to finish the round, an art style of movement for you. Marcel Duchamp, pi <laughs> Marcel Duchamp pioneered this edgy style by exhibiting a urinal. He must be mad, said the critics. Dadaism. Is it Dadaism? It's precisely what it is, Kay. Well done. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to go four from four from our art styles and movements round. Very well done. See, it's a champions week. That's what happens when you get the champs back. The leaderboard is very, very boring indeed because everybody has two points each. How about that? Well done, everyone. <laughs> Shall we get on to our pairs game? So we can uh, get some difference in those scores. Our pairs game today is. You complete me. Everyone's in last place. So, Alex, why don't you choose a partner in this round? Do you know what? Because he won yesterday, I'm going to go with Kyle. You're going to go with Kyle. So, Kate and Alex, if you will swap seats, please. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Kay. Lovely to have you here. Kay and Izzy are a team. Kyle like a and team. Alex are a team. <laughs> now, in this round, fingers on buzzers, everybody. Uh, I will give you a question. It will have a two-word answer. And you must just give me the first word of the answer. Your partner will then give the second word of the answer for you to score a point. OK? So buzz in and give me the first word to the answer to this, please. The sisters Catherine Kaywood and Claire Cartwright are characters in which TV drama created by Sonny Wainwright? That is Izzy. Happy. Happy is correct. K for the point. Valley. Valley? Absolutely right. Expert stuff. Well played. Happy Valley. Next one. The play that won nine Olivier Awards in 2017 is titled Harry Potter and the What? Yes, Kyle. Cursed. Cursed is correct. Alex for the point. Prince? Prince? It's 
Oh, Incorrect. Oh. I can hand it over if you want to buzz in. <laughs> Izzy. Child. Child? Ah. Oh. Absolutely, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I never know if it's cursed or cursed. Someone just said it's cursed. <laughs> so I don't, okay. <laughs> but cursed sounds like the uh, Golden Gold. Goblets. Cursed. Exactly. Next one. Give me the first word of this answer, please. Who is this? Yes, Alex. Ryan. Ryan is correct. Kyle? Reynolds. Reynolds is correct. Well done. They were playing the old Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Gosling game <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. gallery. You can tell. We know your tricks. We know what you're trying to do. Well played, gents. Next one. What is the title, please, of this song? First word only. Breathe me in, breathe me out. I don't Chorus comes in right there. The name. No, you don't know it? No. Oh, oh. Harry Styles, big hit. You got it at home? Watermelon Sugar, I was looking for. Oh. Watermelon Sugar. Next one. Which superhero is the alter ego of Carol Danvers and the title character of a 2019 film starring Brie Larson? <laughs> that is Alex. Captain. Captain is correct. Kyle for the points. Marvel. Marvel? Well played. <laughs> see, this round doesn't normally go this well. This is champions, you see? <laughs> the, whole, the whole point of this round is somebody buzzes in, gives me the first word, and the other person's like, oh, absolutely no idea. But very good playing from everybody here. Next question. Who became the first female commissioner of the Metropolitan Police in 2017? <laughs> yes, Alex. Cressida. Cressida is correct. Kyle? Dick. Dick. Absolutely right. Final question in this round. What's the first word of this answer? Which 1997 film stars Jim Carrey as a lawyer who has to tell the truth for 24 hours? Yes, Alex. Liar. Correct, Kyle. Liar. Liar, liar. Well played, gentlemen. Nicely done. Liar, liar. That ends that round, which, as I say, is normally carnage, but everyone here is too good. <laughs> Kay and Alex, if you'll swap back again, please. Lovely to see you, Kay. <laughs> Welcome back, Alex. Thank okay. you. Now, that has changed the leaderboard a little bit, but it's still pretty close, I would say. Izzy and Kay, you have four points each. Kyle and Alex, six points each. How about that? <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Yesterday's winner, Kyle, back out in front. Three rounds to go on Tuesday's Champions House of Games. Your third round today is... Bow movement. Now, fingers on buzzers, I will show you a series of clues. You just have to tell me what connects them. However, we have changed every single vowel in those clues to a different vowel. OK, so you have to work out what these words are and then what connects them. Monotabo. Antoria. Quibic. Yes, Kay. Canadian provinces? Absolutely right. Canadian provinces. Well done. Monotabo is Manitoba and Torio is Ontario. Quebec was Quebec and we would have gone to Navo Scatio, which would have been Nova Scotia. Next one. What connects these? Hintzmen. Torontillo. Yes, Alex. Types of spider. They... Whoa! Types of spider? Well played. Wow. Hintzman, Huntsman. Torontillo is Tarantula. We would have had Block Wadju. We would have had a Fennel Wob for Black Widow and Funnel Web types of spider. Well played, Alex. Next four. Saolung. Koya Kang. That is K. Water sports. Ah. So Saolung, sailing. Koya Kang, kayaking. We would have had Wiku Bedong. And we always had Katis Orfang, which would be wakeboarding and kite surfing. This is the, my least favourite round to be as a host because it's really hard to say all the words. <laughs> <laughs> the first time you ever see them in life, you're like, how do you pronounce a Wiku Bedong? Absolutely, water sports K, well played. Next four Sego Muki. Fadgo. Yes, Izzy. 
Coen Brothers films. Is it all Coen Brothers films? It's not, I'm afraid. Next one. Poor Drips. Yes, Kyle. Sweets. Are they sweets? They are. Sega Miki is sugar mice. Bad Go is fudge. Poor Drips is pear drops. And we would have had Mont handbags, which would have been mint humbugs. Next four. Easy Eye. Crialu. The Halp. Lidi Land. Yes, that is Kyle. Oscar winning films? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. <sighs> don't worry, you don't lose anything. Anybody want to tell me more specifically what those films have in common? That is Alex. Emma Stone films. Do they all star Emma Stone? <laughs> they do oh. all star Emma Stone. Well done. Easy A, Cruella, The Help and La La Land. I wouldn't have got that in a million years. <laughs> Final question in this round. Panty. Odimimo. Yes, Alex. Types of beans. Are they types of bean? Very well done. Oh, Panty yeah. is Pinto. Odimimo is edamame. Canelono is cannelloni. And Ming would have been mung. Types of bean. The round ends there. Shall we take a look at our leaderboard with two rounds to go on Tuesday's House of Games? Alex and Kyle were in the lead. And now Alex is in the lead by himself. How about that? Four for Izzy, six for Kay, seven for Kyle, nine for Alex Brooker. <laughs> two point lead, two rounds to go. Can he hold on to it, I wonder? Round four today is. There's no I in Osman. We have to stand up for this round. So if you could all stand up, okay. I will give you a category. Uh, you have to give me correct answers in that category. As soon as you can't give me a correct answer, you sit down and the last person standing wins a point, OK? Your first category is this. I need you to name me any Christmas number one act <laughs> since 1970 which does not have the letter M in its name. So any act that's had a Christmas number one since 1970 without an M in their name. I only know Wham. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say right <laughs> Alex, we start with you. Spice Girls. Spice Girls? Absolutely. I've had a whole bunch of Christmas number ones. Izzy. Slade. Slade? <laughs> Correct. Yes, Kyle. E17. E17. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, with uh, Stay Another Day. K. Wizard. Wizard? <laughs> Not number one, I'm afraid. Not Christmas number one. It's a, it's a hit every year, but never made it to number oh, one. Right. Alex. Ah, uh, hang on. Um, Leona Lewis. Leona Lewis? Well done. We're on the old X Factor uh, <laughs> <laughs> scene now. Uh, is he? Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston? I would always love you as a Christmas number one. Absolutely. Kyle. Celine Dion? Celine Dion? No oh. Christmas for Celine, I'm afraid. You take a seat. So, Alex and Izzy, it's down to you. Alex. Shaking Stevens? Shaking Stevens? Surely. Well played. <laughs> Nicely done. Merry Christmas, everyone, uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, Izzy. Um, since 1970, um, ABBA. ABBA? They oh. have not, I'm afraid. Alex, you get yourself a point. Well done. Let's take a look at other things oh. you could have said. Well done at home. There's a mm. lot of sort of X Factory winners there. Alexandra Burke, mm. Band Aid, Band Aid 20, Band Aid 2, Ben Haynow, Benny Hill, uh, Ernie, the fastest milkman in the West, Bob the Builder, Clean Bandit. Cliff Richard, Ed Sheeran, Elton John, Girls Aloud, Jackie Wilson, Lad Baby, Leon Jackson, Pet Shop Boys, Pink Floyd, Queen, Rene and Renato, Save Your Love, Shane Ward, St. Winifred's School Choir, No One Quite Like Grandma, Flying Pickets, Only You, The Justice Collective, Westlife and Wings. Very well done if you've got any of those at home. Let's take another stand up once more, please. We have a new category for you. G20 member oh. states. <laughs> which do not have an S in their name. So G20 countries who do not have an S in their name. And Izzy, we start with you. Germany. Germany? Absolutely. Kyle. France. France? Also correct. K. United Kingdom. Correct. Alex. Japan. Japan? You guys are good. That is Izzy. Italy. Italy? Correct. Kyle. China. China? 
Correct, K. Mm. Yeah. A, 20. There's a lot of S's now, aren't there? Belgium. Belgium. Incorrect. We are running out of them now. Uh, Alex. Holland. Holland? I think Netherlands, it would be. Uh, oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> Is he? Finland. Finland? Also incorrect, Kyle. That ended nicely for you. Get yourself a point. <laughs> well done. Good for that, nothing. What else could be the Canada, maybe? Canada. Portugal? Canada. Or Portugal, maybe. I was Let's take go a look. Portugal. No, I don't think Portugal. Nah. Argentina, Brazil, mm. Canada, European Union. Oh. India, Mexico, and Turkey. Very well done if you've got any. But of I didn't realise the done. European Union yeah, was in as a block. Seat of, at the table. There you go. Final question in this round. If we uh, stand up one more time. I'm looking for any actor who appeared in four <gasps> or more episodes of Gavin and Stacey oh, no. without a W in their first name or surname up to the, uh, the Christmas special from 2019. So four or more episodes without a W. We have two sitcom stars with us right now. We're going to start with one of them, Kyle. James Corden. James Corden. <laughs> it's a nice safe start, isn't it? It's a K. Uh, Larry Lamb. Larry Lamb. Very nice indeed. Absolutely. Larry Lamb. Alex. Ruth Jones. Ruth Jones. Our next sitcom star is Izzy. Izzy. Joanna Page. Joanna Page. You guys are good with actors. Of course you are. Kyle. Matt Bainton. Matt Bainton. No, worth a guess. He's in yours. Right. Uh, so, Kyle, if you'll sit down, please. <laughs> Imagine if we had done four more episodes of Ghosts. You'd have been, we'd have been here all night. Kay. I'm not a regular watcher of Gavin and Stacey. Um, is Alison Steadman in it? Alison Steadman? Yeah, absolutely right. Well done. Alex? Sheridan Smith. Sheridan Smith? Yes, nice. Is he? Julia Davis. Julia Davis? She has been in four or more. Well done. Kay. I'm gone, I don't have any. You're gone. Yeah. You gotta, like, take a seat. Uh, Alex. Oh, um, I can't think of his name. Um, <laughs> oh, it's, it's, I can't, I've got the first name. I can't think of the surname. What's the first name? Russell, Russ. Crow? No. Kurt Russell? No, it's, um, oh, I can't remember it. I can't remember his surname now. I've gone there. Okay, and I've, take I've, a seat. And I've... I'm gonna time you oh, out. Oh, can I do oh, one? Yeah, go on. Matt Horn. Matt Horn? Matthew Horn. Matt, oh, I'm come on. That is unlucky. <laughs> the point goes to Izzy. Well done, Izzy. You don't need any more, but did you have any other? I did. I had Rodri Reese. Ah. I don't know if he's appeared in four or And more. there's Rob Brydon as well. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Um, Let's take a little look. You're thinking of Russell Tovey. Ah. Yeah. Let's take a look. Adrian Scarborough, ah. Margaret John, Oscar Hartland, Rob Brydon, Russell Tovey, Stefan Rodri. Well, that's who I thought was Rodri Reese. So I'm very go. glad that I but didn't you got, say it. You got the point anyway. Yeah. So that's good. Very well done if you've got any others at home. That's the end of that round. We only have one round to go on Tuesday's House of Games, House of Champions. And the leaderboard looks like this. Five points between the lot of you. Izzy, you've got five. K, six. Kyle, eight. Alex Bricker, ten points. <laughs> I tell you what, though, a two-point lead going into Answer Smash. It's not a seat anyone want to be in. Nah. Shall we get on and play our final round? It is, of course. <laughs> answer Smash. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Point for a correct answer. Don't forget, as always, a point off in this round for an incorrect answer. Everybody is within five points of each other. Anybody could still win this. It's another lovely, close day. Your first category is... British Olympians, those will be the pictures. What are the four names of the actor with the surname Parker who played Carrie Bradshaw in Sex in the City? That is K. Sarah Jessica Ennis. Sarah Jessica Ennis, it is, or Ennis Hill, whichever you prefer. Sarah Jessica Parker, Jessica Ennis Hill, Sarah Jessica Ennis Hill will play K. Next question, next picture. Which actor first played the title character in the detective series of Touch of Frost in 1992? Anybody? Oh, Alex Brooker has gone for it. Is it David Jason Kenney? You know you lose a point if you get it wrong. Oh, no. It is David Jason oh. Kenney. Well done. <laughs> oh, that was good, Jason. <laughs> Thank you. David Jason, Jason Kenney, David Jason Kenney. 
won millions of gold medals. Jason Kenney, of course. Next clue and next picture. What three-word term is commonly used to refer to the 31st of December? That is Alex. New Year's Eve Muirhead. He knows his curlers. Did we doubt anything about it? New Year's Eve and Eve Muirhead, the curling skip. Very well played. Next category is circus performers. Those will be the pictures. There will be clues above. Please smash them together. In the novel The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Chapter 6 is named after which character who lacks the courage associated with his species? That is Kyle. The lion tamer? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. It's... Yeah, that is Alex. Cowardly lion tamer. The cowardly wow. lion tamer is correct. It is Kyle. You lose a point, Alex. You get a point. Next question, next circus performer. What word refers to a portion of the night sky through which the sun and planets appear to travel, which in astrology is divided into 12 signs? Nobody. I was looking for the Zodiacrobat. Oh. Zodiac and Acrobat to Zodiacrobat. That'd be a good name for something, Zodiacrobat. Mm. Like a good character. Uh, next clue, next picture. Which sport with rules defined by a body called the IOF involves runners navigating cross country with a compass and map? Yes, Kyle. Orienteering master. Orienteering master. Tough to say, but it gets you a point. Well done, orienteering and ringmaster. Uh, next category. <laughs> We're done for the day. We're done for the day. Play well there, Alex. I think, <laughs> I think Brooke has done it, hasn't he? I think so. On Monday, our champion was Kyle Smith Bino. On Tuesday, our champion in this Golden Champions Week is Alex Brooker. Well done, Alex. Nice big win in the end. Nice big win. Yeah. So you have got yourself a prize. Yeah. Are you going to go for the Goblets of Doom? I'm 100% going for the Goblets of Doom. Do you, do you need to ding them together to see the quality first? I mean, I don't want to rub it in, but it would be good to have someone to ding it. Do you want to ding my new glasses with me? <laughs> Shall we? Let's do it. If, we, if, someone, if someone can 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 bring the goblets on, let's ding them just to make sure. <laughs> just to make sure. And just to just to upset Kyle. <laughs> let's ding them. It's going to make a really nice. So this is this is Taron. Oh, Taran, oh these manager. are. Thank you, Taron. Oh. Uh, gents, do you want to ding them together? Sorry, pal. It's just cheers. Oh. oh. Oh, that's yeah, got to hurt. Oh, give them back. That is well done, Alex. Alex Ooh. Brooker wins the House of Games Cursed Goblets. Oh, I'm so sorry, they're Cursed Goblets. Uh. Well played, Alex. <laughs> Let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we? Weekly leaderboard after two days in this Champions Week. Izzy with two. K5, Alex six. Kyle still out in the lead with seven. Well played, Alex. Nicely Cheers. done. A big win in the end. Well played, everyone. Shall we do it again tomorrow? Yes. Uh, and see if there are any more prizes with curses on them. You never know. <laughs> we usually have a few in the Golden Week. Uh, see you tomorrow, same time, same place. We'll see you tomorrow as well on the House of Games. Spritz written all over it, Richard. <laughs> it has, yeah, definitely. <laughs>